Hello guys, welcome back to the Everything YouTube channel, and today I'm going to be showing you one of the most easiest um, catfishing rigs setups that you can have. Uh, the best, easiest, not the best, but it's what I always use, and it's a simple, effective way of using a bottom rig for catfishing. Here we are. This is one of the most easiest setups you can have. Now, I have this setup for um, river um, fishing. This, I have a flat um, weight on it. It's not an egg weight or anything. So, you just slide it in, and I always keep the pointy side up. Then the next, you just have a swivel, simple swivel. And then, I have about I have, uh, me, I always use, this is a, this is like a J-hook, circle hook, kind of hybrid, it's called a, it's called a, uh, BJ, it's a BJ fishing products, it's a trident hook, it's a, yeah, it's a trident hook, circle hook, it's a, it's it says it's an inline circle hook, and then it's it's an inline uh, trident circle hook. So uh, that's all you need. This costs like something like five, four dollars for six of these. These are just five lots. Um, I use that plenty. But uh, yeah. So you take this. You have your uh, weight. You just put it on here. Then you tie on your swivel. Then, all right, so yeah, let me give you guys a closer look. Like I said, if you're white, you put that on, and it can it can slide all around. Then you take your swivel, and uh, you tie on your swivel. You don't need any beads for this or anything. You don't need um, any of that fancy stuff—a a bead and then a metal thing that hangs the weight down and everything. This is all you need. I can go out and get this catfishing rig. For under ten dollars, and have about I can buy like ten leads. I don't even know how much they cost, like two dollars, something like that. Then I can buy like size hook you want, like five watts to like full you range from three to six dollars, whatever you want to buy, something like this. Just get a circle hook, a J hook, some try hook, something that looks like this is what's gonna. Uh, this is d designed more for cat fishing. See that? Then I just did a simple uni knot. That's what I do. And uh, I tie in a swivel and see, look at that. That's the stop for it. I don't need a bead or anything. And it costs little to nothing. Then, for my leader, I have about a foot. This is about a foot and a half of leader here. So, let me, guys, let me show you guys. Here's my weight and here's my hook. I have about that much a leader. That's all that it takes um, to catch catfish. And uh, it's a very versatile, very versatile um, setup for bottom rigging. Now, if you're just going for uh, ranging from 1 to 10 pound channel cats, I've even caught 15 pound channel cats on this. This is called a stink. This is called a stink bait worm. Now, yeah, you have a stink, a stink bait is a type of bait for catfishing, and uh, it's a kind of, it's like a cheese, and it comes in many different ranges, but you put it on just like a worm, that's why they call it a stink bait worm. You put it on, you just shove it on like this, and then plop it on, push it up, the shank, and then boom, you have yourself a stink bait worm and you put it in stink bait it holds the stink bait on the hook and uh, you still have plenty of hook point exposed so you don't have to worry about anything uh, so that's a great way of using a bottom rig this is this is my most used fishing rig for catfishing I use and uh, all you need you can go out and buy 
some of these for like a dollar or something like that. I don't even know what they're worth anymore. Or you already can have like, you can buy snails that are already set up and stuff. And uh, you can even, you can even use some one-aught um, one hooks. It's just traditional hooks. These are made by Eagle Claw. Um, yeah, they're one off They're one off so uh, that's all it really says. There's 25 of these, and it didn't cost much. These are old. You can tell I've had them for a while. And, uh, see, just one off like that. And that'll catch you fish. There's nothing in there that... It, you can have little tiny hooks, um, like this. Little tiny hooks like this. Look at my finger compared to that. And that'll catch you fish. And if you really want to, if you want to get and uh, if you want to go out and catch a flathead, but you don't have the time or something like that, you don't want to um, catch some bait or um, spend a day or something like that trying to catch bluegill and sunfish and everything. Whatever the legal bait you can use for live bait, and you're, um, and you're a part of the area where it's legal to get, uh, you have to, yeah, you have to make sure your regulations. Some states you can use crappie as bait, some states you can't. Um, pretty much every state, I don't know if there is a state that doesn't let you use bluegill or green sunfish or any of the thing in the sunfish family kind of around there, but, uh, See, that's all, yeah. But you don't have to spend much money on a good setup for catfishing. Catfishing is one of the most simple fishing along with just a bobber and a hook and a worm. But uh, like I was saying, if you don't want to go out and uh, spend the time to catch bluegill and stuff like that, get enough where if you don't have access or time to do it, maybe you're just after work, you just want to go catch some catfish and you want to go, you feel you're in the mood to catch some um, flatheads. You can just put a worm on a hook and uh, and uh, you can just throw, yeah, yeah, I saw this stink bait worm on here. But uh, you can just throw on a worm and on a bottom rig, on like a 5 R or whatever it is that you use, just something like this and throw a worm on there, a whole worm. Works the best. Night crawlers, you can buy them. Um, I don't know if Eagle Claw sells them. I can't remember what brand I buy. It doesn't matter. Worms are worms. So you can go dig up some worms. Big night crawlers, but I'm talking night crawlers. It's not a worm like you can, just a regular worm that you can dig up in your garden. But like you can still dig up night crawlers. But I'd prefer you use night crawlers for also a big hook like this. Um, it just makes. Just more pronounced and that it's more for catfishing you can catch channel cats flatheads blue cats you can catch so much on a worm with a bottom rig for catfishing and uh i don't have you don't have to uh, worry about it. it doesn't have to cost a lot of money next oh uh, well, you don't need an expensive fishing pole now this one is a sweet cat fishing pole. I would trust this fishing pole with uh, up to 60, 70 pound uh, flathead, blue cats, whatever. Any catfish that swims in North America, I could catch on this fishing pole. No problem. Uh, this is a Michelle, 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 I mean, I always have a problem pronouncing its name. Whatever, you get a point. Michelle, Michelle. Mitchell, yeah, there we go. It's a Mitchell Avo cat, and uh, it's perfect. It's the Mitchell Avo cat thing. Most of you might think when you first saw this fishing pole that it was a uh, whisker seeker rod, and they do look a lot like whisker seekers. And in my opinion, they handle a lot like whisker seekers. Now, have I ever handled one? No, but I've seen them in videos, and uh, I've seen them online. I've seen what they do. And this does exactly what the whisker seeker rods do. And uh, they look 
a lot like them. And they're a pretty good looking rod, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, I just have this. And, uh, this is actually pretty, I like this rod. And for one thing also, it has bait caster eyes on it. That's almost like a bait caster eyes. And those are thick, hardy eyes. Those are kind of hot. I would, I don't know much about eyes, but those kind of look like a higher quality. Something that doesn't cost as much. This rod's probably about a $50 rod, and that's all. I don't know. This rod's probably like a $50 rod. But, um, let me show you something. Okay. Now this, this I bought at a tag, uh, um, flea market. The rod, not the reel. The rod also came with a reel, but uh, I didn't like the reel. I switched it out for a Penn Senator 3 aught. But uh, I bought this for ten dollars with the reel, and uh, there was wasn't anything wrong with the reel. I just I didn't like it, and uh, it it just casted different. It was a trigger spin, but when you wanted it to cast, like most of them, you know, you push pull up on the trigger and you let go when you want the line to feed out. You don't you don't pull on it until you when you let go. That's when the line feeds out. I don't know if that's how it was meant to be, but I've never seen anything like it. But, uh, this is a 7-footer, medium-heavy action with a pin center 3 out. This is my big cat stuff. Um, this is what I'm going for when I'm having my big cast because I got my big old... I don't... I've heard people using pin center 3 aughts for shark fishing. But, uh, uh, I like this rod. It has a, a sniff... a uh, stiffness to it. It has a throughout a nice backbone with a I wouldn't say sensitive tip but uh sorry that was a spammer um yeah but that's all there it really is I just want to talk about catfishing rigs and uh, what you could get through them but uh my dad actually gave me this reel and uh I like it but it does pretty good. It doesn't have any of those the braking systems. You know, you have to break it with your thumb, or else you just cast it out and put your thumb on it right before it hits the water. It'll still be a rat's nest because in the air, you know, like if you have a weight, heavy weight, but you have your um, braking system on a regular, uh, like a let's say a low profile reel, you know, uh, you have your braking system and you have it turned down to like you're trying to cast jigs. Like an eighth ounce jig, and you have it turned down to w one, the braking system, so you can cast. Well, and then you put on a, let's say you put on a one ounce lead on there, and you cast it. It's gonna rat nest in the air. I don't know what you call it when you're you cast it in a rat nest before it hits the water. Like you know, you cast it out and it's still going, but it, the re the reel itself, the spool, is spinning so fast that the the jig, with the speed the jig's traveling at, isn't really pulling on the spool. So, it just builds up and it can't feed the line out properly. If you guys have bait casters, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But, uh, there's also something else I want to show you guys. Well, alright, here we go. This is a medium action, quantum strategy, size 40 reel. And, uh, it's a seven-footer. Now this, this probably, you go out and you buy it, it's probably going to be around $50. I'm not telling you to go spend $50 on this. I'm just saying, you can go out, and you can go and buy, um, like the whooping sticks or something like that. Or you can go out and buy a, a $19 rod and reel combo, a medium action, like one of those cheap bass rods for... Not for kids, but just a, a cheaper bass rod. I don't know, like, um, like you know, Zebco makes some reels like this, but they're blue and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. But you get my point. Go and buy a spin caster like this for $19 or something like that. Not like this, but I'm saying, medium action. Go out, and you can put on a... You can go out put on a little... Tiny weight like that. That I don't know if that's an ounce, but uh, or this. 
that so that's an ounce of lead. I prefer the flat for rivers. I live right near the Mississippi River. When I'm fishing on there, I like flat because when it goes down, it hits the bottom. And let me give you an example. So you have it, and it's going. It's sinking, and it hits the bottom. It's going to lay flat, and the current's just going to swipe over it. It's not going to... It's not really going to pick it up that much, as if you had a an egg sinker, and you let it go down, and it hit, the current's going to pick that, and it's going to roll it along, right? Because it's like, it's like an egg, you know, it's going to roll it along, and uh, it's not going to keep your bait where you want your bait, it's going to move it a lot, and uh, to me, I don't like that. Maybe some of you out there like that, but in my opinion... That's just not what I want. But uh, if you're fishing on the bank, you don't have to go out and buy expensive bite alarms. You can go out and buy this for like, I don't know, 50 cents, something like that. A couple of these, like three of them for a dollar. And uh, you just go. You go and you just put them on your rod like so. You just clip them on. Then... Like that. And that's fine. At least you have to leave the garden. Now when it comes to mono versus braid, in my opinion, there really is no wrong. Mono has a little more give than braid does. But also one thing about it is you get snagged with braid, and uh, braid is strong. It's not going to stretch as much, you know. So you can straighten the hook and get your rig back without, you know, breaking it off and losing a rig. And uh, with mono, it has a little more give. So when you're fighting a big fish, it has a little more give, so you might not lose the fish as easy as if you had braid. But uh, it's the God-honest opinion of someone. In my opinion, braid versus mono, I, I don't really, it doesn't bother me, which I have. Braid, you know, Braid is thinner, but stronger. I don't know what it's like. It's like 40 pound braid is the equivalent to like 6 pound mono or something like that. I'm probably wrong. I don't care. But uh, that's just what it looks like to me. But you also can put more line on a reel. When the recommendations say like 6 pound line, you have uh, 110 yards, right? I mean, I'm talking like a size 10 reel here. This is just an example. But uh, with braid, you can have 40 pound uh, braid and have way more capacity than if it said 10 pound mono. Like th when the recommendations, I'm pretty sure they're con they're talking about mono. Monofilament is what I'm talking about. Any Any fisherman knows what a mono is. But, uh, there's recommendations there, and it says that, that's how, it does, not recommendations, but it tells you how much line capacity at its max can it hold with a six, like, ten pound mono, but it's not talking about braid. I can put ten pound mono on there and have as much as if I had forty pound, no, probably like forty, sixty, up there, above forty pound braid on and have the equivalent to mono. Mono's a thicker um, string and uh, sometimes people, you look at professional cat fishermen and you ask them, you ask 10 of them and they're not all going to have the same. Some people will say, I like to have braid on my reel but a mono leader and that's because mono has more give. They like that they like the braid is strong and durable and I can go on and on but uh in reality it's just your opinion uh what you want to pay for and what type of things you want but you can go out and buy a small spool of mono filament go out and buy 40 pound you need like 15 pound like whatever you want your leader and a leader this is a leader. You have your swivel, and this part that the hook 
connects to the swivel. That's a leader. And uh, that's all there is to it. You don't have to go overboard. You can have one alt hooks and do just fine. You can catch any catfish out there. But uh, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. Uh, I'll have some some uh, b new fishing videos out and some more content in the near future, in the next couple of days, the Indian Lake. And I'm going to do some catfishing. And I'm going to show you how good those are. But I don't know if I'll catch anything. I might have heard that it got winter killed a little bit. But uh, I'm sure I can get something. Then I'll be in Tennessee. So, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. On the Do Everything Woo! channel.